Hi, my name is Dupe Bedejo, and we are here at Hodan Story by Dwayne Holness, and we're going to be talking to some of the attendees. So let's go. What is the significance to come out and support an event and a story like Hodan's? Well, since I moved to Canada, I, I learned about so many cultures, and I actually made friends with a lot of people from the Somali uh, community. Uh, I've worked with Dwayne on multiple projects and when he shared he was working on this and he told me how much it meant to him uh, I did a little bit of light research on Houdan and I found out like her impact in journalism and uh, it's funny you know doing this with you because I actually study journalism I'm a broadcaster and all those things so to, to, to see her story and what she wanted to do as a broadcaster and um, to be in classes with women who doesn't fit the image of what a broadcaster should look like, should be, and to see how far she went as far as going back home and sacrificing a lot to, to, to tell the story and have a real reason for her work, uh, it just connected with me as something that I wanted to see the full documentary about. So if you are watching this and you haven't seen it, I recommend like 10 out of 10. It's an emotional story and it's something that should motivate. So how has Houdan's story, after watching the beautiful documentary that was put out, how has she inspired you today? Or what are some notes that you're taking as the event is ending? Nag skadik or nag nol skadik. So basically, keep going, be a powerful woman that you are. Um, and seeing her made me realize, like, okay, well, there is a small woman that's out there, did not take no for an answer, and just kept going and kept pushing and took every comment and put it back behind her and just kept going and how to see how Somalia is so beautiful it makes me definitely want to go back i'm it's in, it's been on my mind but now definitely for sure yeah, yeah. inshallah yeah. one day i'm gonna go back <laughs> thank you as a non-somali right me and you are both nigerian um, how important is it to support other Africans, especially in an event like this and a story like Kudan's? So, um, I came from Jane and Finch. Growing up, obviously, you know, Nigerian parents, I, I fed me, go to school, this, that, and the other. But my mom did something different. She exposed me to diversity. My babysitter was Somali. My Hoyo that grew me up, introduced me to the food, introduced me to the culture. And so I, I always grew up understanding different cultures. My best friend, it's Dwayne, he's from Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica, I've been to Spanish Town, you know what I mean? I've been to Nigeria, I've been to Ghana. Like, I think exploring where all of us come from is important, and it's, especially as Africans, not only supporting only Nigerian events or only supporting Ghanaian events, like, Africa is a continent, you know what I mean? And like, even come to an event like this, I'm sure even though we're not Somali, we felt connected to it. Mm -hmm. When we watch this story today, you know, we all felt connected because we know how it feels for all of our family to leave you know, Africa to come here to provide a better life for us, you know, and I feel like, you know, as long as we continue to support one another and tell the stories as, you know, this night today went, um, there's only sky's the limit. Because if we come together, not, nothing in the world can ever stop us as Africans. That's why they try to divide us in so many different type of ways. That's why they continuously, you know, money is great, but respect and unity is more amazing than that. During the Q&A portion of this event, you said that you actually worked very closely to Hudan, and I wanted to ask you what was that experience like and how she has directly affected your lifestyle. 100%. Um, I want to say I worked closely with her. Uh, when I first started this journey, it was because a lot of our friends passed away due to gun violence, uh, mental health issues, suicide, things of the like. And like a lot of other people, I was, my spirit was breaking and I didn't really know in which direction to go. And I started to ask myself, like, what can I do to fix this as opposed to be part of it? I went to the most random events you can imagine. And every single time I would see Hoda in any of these events and venues, she didn't care who it was. It could be a four year old child or a guy like me just wandering around, not understanding what's going on. And she'll give them words of encouragement. And when I asked her, what can I really do to impactfully make some save some lives? She said, all you could do is try your best and reach out to as many people as possible and keep trying and trying and trying. And I cannot lie, she put a battery on my back. She did such a beautiful job in encouraging everyone with their contagious happiness and love. Uh, may Allah give her Jannah Amin. But um, even watching this documentary today just reminded me that the grief that we go through is something that will always happen. Mm -hmm. All of us will die one day, me and you both, our loved ones. We don't know who's going to go when. But all we can do is try our best before it's our time to go. How is it like holding 
or sitting on a pot of gold with Houdan's story, with the film that you, the film and the artwork that you guys have taken, because it's such a beautiful story. How is it like, like just sitting on this and knowing that you had to project it to potentially millions of people and they can be affected by that? How is that like? Um, I mean, to to be around great people, it's it, that's the pot of gold, right? So to know that I was surrounded and I am still surrounded with great people. You know, and me being someone that loves to tell stories, it's it's it, that's those are my treasures. So to be able to unleash one of my treasures um, and share it with others, you know, that's that for me is um, it's 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 amazing to know that you know I have I'm able to be in part of these moments and share share an emotion with somebody and and inspire and and because of her, other people get inspired. So. Um, it's a good it's a good feeling and I hope I continue to, to, to share more other people who are, you know, creating impact in the world.